Um, something that uh, I've noticed and Chris did mention is that uh, it does have a bit of a rattle. I mean, definitely shouldn't sound like that. Okay, well that was a bit of a rattle, wasn't it? So as you may remember, Chris from All My 78s has sent me his number 5B sound box so that I can have a look at it and attempt to repair it. So what I'm going to do today, because I've got uh, the uh, Zoom mic and uh, my gramophone recording system all set up, is to actually do some audio tests on it. So I'm going to play a record with this sound box here. And uh, I'm going to use, uh, for comparison, this one here as well. Now this is my number 5B, which is very similar. Um, I think it's later. I mean, the lettering on the back is different. I understand that the simpler lettering is from uh, the, the later period of production. Now, it's also got uh, a cardboard ring in there, and that's because the uh, HMV162 gramophone, which I'm going to use, has a slightly smaller tone arm as it's designed for the number 4 uh, sound box. And I'm going to have to use the same cardboard ring on this one here as well to take up the space. Now, as well as those two sound boxes, I'm also going to um, use this sound box here, which is uh, a number 5A. And it's very similar. I mean, it's a little bit earlier. And um, I've had to add a bit of foam at the back. Um, so it um, stays onto the tone arm. This is actually missing the little pin, um, which it should have. Um, to actually engage with the uh, tone arm. So I've used um, a piece of foam just to sort of jam it on. And um, I've also had to make uh, a needle screw there. Now this isn't a final needle screw, but uh, the one that came with it, um, although it went into the hole okay, um, it didn't tie it up, tighten up on the needle. So uh, this one does. So that's what I'll be using. So uh, I'm going to do the test now. And uh, then we can see um, what they sound like. You're the one I care for. You're the one I'm there for. I hope you care for me. Listen to my pleading. You're the one I'm needing. I love you so sincerely. At last I've met my fate, I'm glad that I could wait, until I've found someone like you. You're the one I care for, you're the one and therefore, I hope you care for me. Okay, well, I think that was pretty clear cut. Um, 
Chris's uh, 5B has definitely got a bit of buzz. Um, what's interesting actually is that uh, although the uh, Zoom mic does pick it up, um, the uh, audio from the camcorder actually picks it up even more. So I think the uh, effect of just listening to it, uh, especially with the lid of the gramophone up, is actually worse than uh, maybe the Zoom mic uh, makes it seem. So um, at least I've got a baseline now for um, what it's like and uh, how it needs to uh, be improved. Uh, what was also interesting, it may not come through in the video too well, is that uh, the 5A, um, and this is completely unrestored, I mean this has been very, very abused and neglected, well more neglected than abused I think, um, although it has been fiddled with a bit because there's as I say, something missing on the back. Um, that was actually louder um, than the other two sound boxes. So it's louder than the five Bs. And uh, it actually sounds pretty good as well, actually. So um, I'm rather pleased about that. Um, so despite the uh, poor cosmetic condition, that's actually a, a bit of a, of a performer. So I think next stage will be to actually um, open this one up and uh, see if we can see what the rattle is. Okay, well that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I'd be very grateful if you did. But uh, thanks again and uh, see you in the next video. Bye for now.